Just look at that beautiful color, folks. It's a beautiful afternoon here in Eugene, Oregon. And today's work, I did a tail lamp assembly on a Nissan Versa, and that did not go according to plan. We had some melted bulb sockets, so what should have taken just a few minutes? Ah, uh, yeah, well, we'll move past that. So I didn't get to do what I was going to with the 22R today, but I'm gonna make some progress on the project for the gentleman. Got this bracket in this rear cylinder head coolant bypass thing, as well as the old oil pan to that engine. We're gonna get them clean and give them the uh, Jenkins Performance Krylon touch that everybody loves so much, make these look like something. So I'm gonna go with the aluminum high heat We'll see, we'll see. I've got my full selection, my 50 shades of gray. So first steps first, let's get them de-disgusted. Mm -hmm. All right, so sometimes things go real easy and other times they give me just a pain in the butt. Boy, this piece had some married old gasket material, but I've got it down to a sealable surface. I'm gonna wipe that off again, tape it off before we paint it. But that's all really smooth. Yeah, that's ready to rock. All been right cleaned down real good. So that's going to get the can, and that's going to get the can after I tape off some important surfaces. But we're going to hit them up and make them look nice. Sometimes it just takes a minute to bake the cake. So those of you all have seen a lot of my engine paint work know that I like to keep things a high contrast affair. I don't generally like things to be exactly the same color. This time we're just sticking to all grayscale with this engine because I want it to be tasteful and unoffensive to anyone. But if I can avoid it, I want any two parts that bolt together to not be exactly the same shade of gray. Especially that's a little bit of a inside joke with me and the customer who wasn't sure if this piece was part of that block or not. It might have looked like it. I saw it. But yeah, that won't be in question in the future. So that'll be bright aluminum right behind that on the head. This bracket doesn't need the high heat, so I did it in a hammered finish, which always looks really cool to me on cast iron pieces. And now I'm going to clean up this oil pan on the outside at least. I don't know that I'll fully degrease the inside. We'll see. But I'm going to try to hit that. I'm going to do that with the bright aluminum color. And again, now we're going to be painting over some rust and some crud, so perfection ain't never going to happen here. But it's going to look hell of sight better and look great on the bottom side of that black block. So, I'll let that dry, and I'll keep cleaning this up. Well, it done got dark on me out here, but thankfully I can still spray paint an oil pan in the dark and not worry too much about what the results are going to be like. Knocked off everything I could. The rest of that is part of it. Ain't no grease on it anymore. And underneath, I did at least most of the prep for a gasket meaning we won't need any more brake clean out of the situation. I will wipe that out, clean it out, and get any remaining fragments of that loose. But we're going to do that after paint. I'm going to go ahead and blast this thing here in just a second. Again, yeah, I know, painting in the dark, but it's a freaking oil fan, folks. And look at it now. I'm sure I can achieve a more attractive finish than what I see here without too much trouble. So let's put just a little bit of tape in that oil drain plug port so that that doesn't be a problem and we're going to give this the blast with the gray high heat all right well that ain't too bad looking you can see here the difference in contrast and color as well so that is rust-oleum barbecue grill gray which does a real good job of hiding stuff seems to stick to rust very well and has more heat tolerance than i need i'm not sure how oil resistant it ends up being we'll find out but that'll look great, and with that not being black, we'll actually be able to see if there's any leakage or seepage on our on our thing here. Also, that's going to mount up against a black engine block, so that's going to look real nice. Same color I did the valve cover in, so top and bottom match. Down here, to show the difference in contrast, that is, uh, what is that called? That is cast iron paint. That has a real good look. That's what I did the Tornado valve covers with. And this one is hammered finish gray mailbox by Rust-Oleum. I don't need high heat protection on that, but I like the way the textured hammered look comes out looking on a cast iron piece like a bracket. So, of course, that is a important piece, so it's not painted on the back side. It's prepped for gasket. This will get gasket prep again on the other side of it when I'm all 
when it's all dried up, but it's been pre-done so we don't have contamination. So there it is. You can see that although I'm going with contrasting metallics, I'm keeping it all tasteful. Let's call it a night. I'm ready to put away my toys.